Yo, 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 welcome to my crib, or should I say, Gruntilda's crib. Today on NPTV Cribs, I'm going to show you what I missed, and I'm going to show you everything inside Gruntilda's crib. So, follow me to Mumbo's Mountain, because I missed this switchy switch. If that even makes sense to you, dog. No, not really. Not to me, anyways. So, last episode, I kind of forgot about this because I want to keep my videos around 15 minutes just so that it doesn't bore the viewers and just so that they're short enough so that you can watch an episode at least on a constant rate instead of watching like 20 minute or 30 minute episodes at a time because that could be a little bit too long. Oh, damn it, Chimpy. Ah, I forgot. Fine, I'll get you orange. Sassy monkey. That's why I'm a panda and not a monkey. Oh, when I was little, um, I was at the zoo and I was really little and I was tossing goldfish to some seals that, and I was in the wagon at the zoo. Yeah, yeah, at the zoo, at the zoo. Anyways, I was tossing goldfish at some seals, feeding them. And these kids were like shaking the cage to this monkey cage, like of about 20 feet in front of us. So they were just rowling up the monkeys, and the monkeys were going ape shit. Get it? <laughs> Anyways, so they were just making the monkeys mad, and I was like three or four, not even an age where I even know better than goldfish at seagulls because they'll pretty much eat anything so we go by the monkey cage and these monkeys start like grabbing me and trying to pull me into their cage and they are mad oh crap uh, don't just don't do what I just did there actually I'll see you at Mumbo's mountain Alright, we were, I didn't mean to say Mumbo's Mountain, I meant to say Mumbo's Hut, but you need to transform into the termite in order for this to work. So, you know that switch we pressed and made the jiggy appear on top of the overworld area? Not in this area, but we're gonna go outside as a termite. You may have had a termite day, I don't know, and I... Not making sense again, but we're going out as a termite. But you'll see what happens if you try and go anywhere else as a termite. Okay, so normally you wouldn't be able to get up here. When you open a world door, baddies escape and roam once more. That's kind of bad. But, uh... <clears throat> Excuse me there. But, uh, so we're going up this mountain thing to get this jiggy. Normally you won't be able to get up there as Banjo and Kazooie, even when you're doing the trot thing where you, the talon trot, where you're holding down left trigger and right trigger. Mumbo magic get weak, animal turn back, or magic go. Magic all gone, must go back to bear and bird now. As Nintendo Capri Sun calls it, Mumbo's Verizon magic, pretty much. Terrible reception. I don't really know if Verizon has terrible reception or not, but I don't know. Anyways, this is a note door sealed by Grunty with wonderful power from musical spells. Open it up then, Jam Jars. It's not that simple. Open it. To open it, you must collect the musical notes from the worlds. Well, many do we need. The number on the door is the strength of the spell, and the combined total of all your best note scores from the world must be at least as true to the Um, your energy is a little low, I'll fill it up for you. So that says 50, and we have 100. As we go through Guntilda's crib, we're going to need more and more notes from each world. And by the end of this, you're going to need approximately 90 notes per world to actually get through the very last door, I think. And if you get all the notes, then you'll get something special. 
so I might 100% this. That one was easy for you to get past, unfortunately, you're first and last! Oh, I don't know, this thing confused me, I don't know what the hell it is. This is weird. And then here's Grunty's face, can't do anything to it. So, I'll give you a little bit of a tour after I put these puzzle pieces in. Uh, when you're at these puzzle, like, pictures, you can press either A to place one, or right Okay, I guess not right trigger. To remove pieces you already put down, move the right stick down, but once the picture is complete, all the pieces are stuck there permanently. Yeah, we did it. There's a new area and a treasure chest, but there's no treasure inside. It's called Treasure Trove Cove. And here's a little preview of it. And in my very first video, um, I had a little bit of an issue with the video, and it kept on repeating itself. 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 Ha ha ha! Did I get you there? No, probably not. But anyways, let's go down here, and here's a pot. You evoke. I can't even do a voice. You've activated a magic cauldron. Find the two same, two the same color to create a shortcut. And you just hop inside them, and but since I only found one, it just spits me back out. So we're just gonna go back. Actually, I think there's a mumbo token in there. You're gonna need mumbo tokens. You don't need to get all of them, but I advise you to just grab them whenever you can. So we're just gonna go back up here. This little episode's a bit walkthrough-ish, but I'll give you a tour of Quintuda's Lair. To get up there, you're gonna need a new move, so don't worry. Let's go this way. Hmm. And now we're in Gruntilda's sewer system. Where all the disgusting stuff happen. Ow. Best. Where all the disgusting stuff happens. And the mumbo token on top. I've learned this spell. It's really neat. I'll keep it later for your treat. What? Activated a magic cauldron. Prime Plumbo to create a creative bird. A shortcut. I'm failing today. Oh, what? A gold feather. Lucky you, I'm an invulnerability feather. Bottles will tell you more. Oh, he will. Yeah, it's just... We'll learn that move later on, don't worry. Well, it's sort of a move. Uh, the maximum amount of gold feathers you can hold is 10, and I think... Red is 50, but once we do some special stuff later on, who knows, we might even be able to increase it. I don't know what this place is, it doesn't say click clock wood, but look at how many jiggies are missing there. How are we ever gonna do that? And where's the podium? I don't know. Maybe we'll do a look at that for later. Hello there, young ones, I'm Brentando. Gruntuda is a nicer sister. I've crept down here to help you defeat the old hag. It's about time she was taught a lesson. I know all of Grunty's disgusting secrets, and I'll tell you every free run of the bar. Remember them well, young ones, as they will help you avoid a fiery fate. Precisely nice if you'd like to hear them. She just tells you three per location where she is. But actually, I'll tell. I'll ask. All three of this one. Uncle Gruntilda's nickname was Cauldron, but our witch school. I also know that freshly burst boils is her favorite smell. And the old hag's favorite color is ghastly gray. So most of them are just like witch puns or just disgusting puns, I guess. Grunty admits she's a hog. I really need a big hot dog. Um, I think it's time I just stop playing this game. No. <sighs> After I recover mentally from that, 
even though I called her hot in the first episode, but <laughs> let's go down here to Treasure Trove Cove. So uh, this is more of a tour of Grunty's lair this episode, so I won't be diving into Treasure Trove Cove just yet. So this is just a random ship, and there's an entrance to it. So we're gonna go this way now, back out. But yeah, I also wondered how can Kazooie fit in Banjo's backpack? She's pretty big. She must have like condensed her whole body into some sort of small... <laughs> Without my voice cracking there, some really small ball or something. And that would hurt. She would have to like dislocate every single bone in her body almost. Or even her beak. Unless she, like, shoves her beak inside Banjo's back or something. He has a huge hole in his back. Hmm. That's a mystery we'll never know. But here's another part of Grunty's sewer system. Don't fall in or else you'll be eating shit. Um. <laughs> so we're gonna hit this switch too. Do. This part kind of reminds me of Mario, but... Kind of not. But one thing I hate about games sometimes is that you die by touching water. Like some Zelda games do that, but then you, you're you able to swim later on in the game at least. I'll talk to her later because... Wee! I'm a red feather! I hope because we fly when she knows how! Alright, let's press this switch. Um... But Brantilda doesn't really help us at all, she just kind of tells you stuff about Grunty and they're just really bad puns sometimes. But you're gonna need those for later. Way later in the game though. So we're just gonna swim, keeping an eye on the time. Just gonna swim and go up. Just like how I need a Zora scale to swim, I don't know. But, uh, so here is another level called Bubble Gloop Swamp. Press. Okay, I guess not. Oh, there you go. If you want to place all your pieces in the picture, just press the right trigger. I was trying to do that for the other two pictures, but thanks, Bottles. Thanks for letting, <laughs> for straining me from doing that all the other time. That's cool. Bubble Gloop Swamp. So, that was sort of a little bit of a tour of Grunty's place. This stupid quest you should stop! You won't get to me at the top! So, we're swimming through Grunty's sewage system. It's surprisingly blue underwater. Hmm. I don't know how to respond to that, but... Let's just go before I die for no reason um so yeah we're just gonna go to outside treasure trove cove just as an outro and just so that I'm really close to it for the next episode and yeah so I hope you all had a termite day probably not I don't know you tell me how was your termite day go on. Oh, that's... that's just terrible. Oh. Well, you don't have to say it like that. Fine. Fine, I'll, I'll just go over there then. Stop. Stop it! Just be quiet while I go over here and do my outro. Okay, so... This has been a tour of NPTV Cribs, and I am Nude Panda, and I am signing off. See you later, dog.